Hello, welcome to my channel. Welcome to Pam Star Oracle. I'm Pam. Um, it's nice to meet you all. I hope I can give you all a little bit of help on your journey today of figuring out something that you're all needing to figure out. This story's a little uh, different. Um, thank you all to my loyal support. I love y'all and I appreciate y'all for being there with me from the get-go. To you new subscribers, I love y'all and I thank you and I hope that I can keep giving y'all a little something every day anyways. You know, I hope y'all watch my videos all the way through. That way, maybe you'll find something and not skip through it. Um, uh, but let me get into this because it's pretty interesting and I, and I love you guys and I hope this helps. So, I'm going to do this tarot reading first. I just pulled these out of my stack right here, okay? So, the first card that come out is... Someone was um, sneaking off trying to steal something from you. Maybe this person is very, they're obvious uh, and pessimistic. You can listen to them and tell, okay? Uh, whoever this is, they don't know. They can't live up to their full potential, okay? This is an unknown opponent of yours, but I'm getting ready to give somebody a little bit of mental clarity on who this unknown one two two opponent is right here in just a second. Uh, this unknown opponent, uh, this person that was sneaking off and that started all this fucking fighting and conflicts around, they've been lying and they've been hiding under the moon. They've been lying. Look at that fighting. Stealing thievery, fights and conflicts, hiding under the moon. These people that's doing this and stirring up all this ruckus, they are not receiving good karma. They're receiving the dharma, bad karma, and what that means. And um, you know, I'm one of these people. I am Aquarius, okay? I'm Aquarius, and my north node's Leo, and my rising is a Scorpio, and uh I mean, Taurus, and my my 10th house is Scorpio. See, I, I'm all of this. I'm all this. I know about pure karma, but whoever this person is, they're getting ready to receive some bad luck, and I already know what the fuck it is. <laughs> oh, and bad luck is their family is, their family legacy has got tore down. Whoever this is. And um, you defeated them. Uh, they just, all they can do is just turn their back and walk away because, because you, you defeated this person, whoever it is. You were smart enough to get your ass in your vehicle and move a damn hell away. That's why spirit's going to bless you with a giant opportunity from the divine. Uh, you know how to make your own opportunities. That's what that means. And you're going to receive wealth from your, uh, from your, um, from your goals. You're going to receive wealth. Whatever it is that you do for a living, you're going to receive wealth because you had to remove all these burdens and take them off your down back because they want yours to pack. They want yours to pack. And that's why you had to turn off all your down emotions to this person and, and walk away. You had to. And you, you know, you had to stop you know, here's eight of swords upside down. You had to stop living trapped in fear and regret or guilt, whatever it was. You had to stop living like that, okay? And that's why Spirit said, no, I'm bringing balance into your life. Here's Temperance Angel. Here comes Temperance Angel to come balance your life and get you back on track. And you're balanced in your marriage if you're married like me. Spirit said you're balanced because... <coughs> You had to remove all these burdens that wasn't yours to pack. That's basically what it is. And and what it what pulled out is a sister could be the one that was this situation is just talking about somebody's sister out here. Somebody's sister uh might have broke your heart. And it says this person already has another person on the side and they've been lying to you from the get go. One plus one doesn't equal three, huh? So they they they're in a third party a sister, and and they paid a kitchen witch to might have done magic on you, or you know this could be a person that you worked with in a kitchen and her th this person her and her sister they worked to get they worked against you okay, 
And um, now these people, they're wanting to apologize for all their lies that they spread on you. Uh, they, they finally want to bring peace to this situation. But if I was you, I would keep my guard up. I guess you uh, you got enough smarts to keep your guard up. And it says, all, this is a poem by me, Pound Star Oracle. It says, all alone here I sit, filled with more deep regret. From daylight till dawn, all I hear is tick, tick, tick. The clock is trying to warn me to get up and not just let it be. To forge straight ahead with confidence and courage. To forgive from my head. Now my heart can heal. That's why me pound star oracle. Oh, does he like that? Yeah. We all get stuck in our head sometimes and scared to move ahead. But, you know, Spirit said that they love you because you had the confidence and courage to go and say things that's happened to you. And Spirit loves you for that. And and this, this sister, they're putting up walls because they don't want you to think negative of them when... When you find out their secret, okay, this, this sister don't want you to get mad when they, when you find out their secret. And it could be that this divine masculine is in regret because he never experienced a real love from divine. And, and he was just into too many women and partying until dawn. Oh, smush face Freddy over here. I need him. <laughs> so maybe smush face Freddy is... um hiding a secret that they fucked your sister. <laughs> Somebody's old man fucked your... Someone's old man fucked your sister. And they're in regret about it. But I bet money they sure ain't never told you. 644, they ain't got the balls to tell you. And I'm saying everybody who tried to come after me and mine and my business, you're going to have to pay for your tricks, motherfuckers. And it says, hey there, baby, I see you over there with your pink hair. How about you and I get together and make a new life as one? Ha woo wee Oh, God, somebody loves you. Somebody that's got crazy hair or no hair. They love you, pretty lady. That's what it said. This divine masculine loves you. He was just too much into partying, and he is wanting to have a threesome maybe with your sister. Did you hear that? <laughs> well, that didn't happen. So, uh, so maybe... Um, it says murder keeps on happening around the world and people all over seem to just think it's normal now. And it's not normal. We need a huge change in our world and it starts with each individual to strive for love and not hate. This is by me. So uh, I think that it says, hey there, baby, I see you over there. I think that maybe it's, it's Divine Masculine knows that somebody tried to murder you. If they've been listening to your channel, I know my Divine Masculine knows it. And uh, these people, uh, these people that's in a group, they hate you because you stood in your truth and you let all, let out all of their damn business that they done to you. <laughs> and you're a mystery to these group of individuals. They don't know how you escaped all these traps that they set for you because <laughs> you got true magical powers. The dumb motherfuckers don't understand. This shit ain't going to get to me. I'm a true chosen one. It, it's not going to get to me. You can throw bones and magic and a hippity-doo, a zippity-boo. And then you can throw hexes on my channel and make it go slow like y'all did. Because, I mean, every video I had, it was going, they was going and getting views. And now it's slowed down again. So, see, somebody has launched in my channel. And I'm telling the truth about it. And old Voodoo Kitchen Witch, I know your names. Both of them starts with an L, and you're both readers. And I'm going to put it out for the public. It's already on my channel. It's under an Aquarius read, and it's locked. You can go look at it. There's five views, and it's been me. You look at the motherfucker five times. So if they keep on doing this, and they keep stealing from me, I'm telling you right now, and they keep doing motherfucking shit to make my channel not grow, it's all right. Because uh, what they didn't know is this. The law is taking down this whole group of people who was against me. I'm a chosen one. They're taking you down. Okay? And y'all think, I don't know the law. I know personally. Ha <laughs> ha, personally. And when Horace comes around, and if you see hawks regularly around your house, then know that he's asking of you to see this situation exactly as it is, and know, and know that... Know that this group of people is going down. <laughs> and, and, and and the law knows that, that not everybody deserves your time and attention. And, and especially these people that's hurt you time and time again. And the law sees this exact, uh, situation exactly as it is. 
And, and the law knows they, they was trying to have you set up to be murdered. Set up to be murdered. And uh, the law is watching their telephone. That's why that says call right there. They're watching their telephone. <laughs> and uh, all these people, they were the ones that hated me. Now y'all see why I left my jobs yet? I wrote this so y'all could see us in the collective. That's why I left my job. These people, they they act like they love me so much. <laughs> That's all they did every day. Goddamn whisper. Would y'all love to work somewhere like that? To where every fucking day when everybody left and I was cleaning up the damn mess of all breakfast rush. Would you all love to have that around? Wouldn't do nothing so sit there and talk about how shitty you goddamn was. No. <laughs> And the law knows now, and they was telling the law a bunch of shit. That's why the law was coming in there every day. And I knew it, and I knew it, and I knew it. And that's why I set my fat ass down here to tell it, and tell it, and tell it. And the law knows it, and the law knows that these miserable misers can never have magical powers to turn their base motives to gold because they don't know how to do nothing except fucking steal. Steal. And people that's in a practice like this, and all you do is steal, I don't fucking like you. And I'm Nix Enchantress of Night, and I tell people secrets. And that's why my fucking light went out the other day to let y'all know that. That I'm Nix Enchantress of Night. I, I bring out secrets, and I do this shit vigilantly. I do it every fucking day. So, see? So, if y'all want to fuck with me, that's who I am. And I said, don't act like y'all didn't do shit to me, because I know good damn well exactly who you are and what all y'all did do to me. And, and sometimes you think that you'll know the a person until that same person makes you question if you can trust anyone. See? Yeah, that's true. There's a lot of people you can't trust, and I'm teaching y'all that. And I'm telling you right now, you better pro protect yourself with priors because people want to take what you built. The motherfuckers are lazy. They're lazy, and all they can do is sit around copying, you know, and uh. And kick you plumb out of the community, your real community that you live in. And it's all right. They can't take what you built because God's given it to you. And it says, today I woke up. Today I wake up and say, thank you, God, for giving me breath another day. Help me a little more to get the chores done and the bills paid. And washing and putting the clothes away galore. Give me strength to do it forevermore. It's what I say every day. Did you hear that? <laughs> And, uh, and and this person is only a gold digger. They didn't realize or see your true value. It's Divine Masculine that's in regret. And this sister, they're a gold digger. So maybe it's Divine Masculine. Um, he sees that uh, your sister is a gold digger and that she put a spell on him so um, he wouldn't tell that they fucked. Did you hear that? 1244. <laughs> But uh, no matter what, no matter where, it's always home when love is there. Boy, ain't that true. That's the truest I ever heard. That's the truest. And whoever his sister might be for you all out here, it could be a cancer. And it's symbolized by the crab, which seeks shelter in its own shell. Cancers feel most supported in the comforts of their own home, known for being intuitive, sensitive, and attuned to the cycles of the moon. They're often artistic and mu musically inclined. They're also extremely loyal and protective of those they care about, so much that it can be hard to pull them away from their loved ones. Don't you dare mess with their friends or family or else you'll get those pinchers. So this cancer that your sister felt that it would be better for her to keep this inside tucked away that she fucked your husband or your partner. Huh? Black Moon Lilith came out, and uh, this is a... It's where the moon is farthest from Earth in its transit, and it, and it changes every nine months. And Lilith represents wild feminine energy and understanding. Its placement in your birth chart will help you better understand your sexuality and your uh, repressed fantasies and fetishes and compulsions. Black Moon Lilith can also shed light on your addictive tendencies when it comes to love, romance, and dating. So, this cancer has been addicted to um your she's been addicted to messing with your love life and maybe your family she is wanting to she's in love with somebody's divine masculine out here are you listening to this i don't know who it is <laughs> I know I got a stepsister that's a cancer, but she don't live around me, my old man. So I don't know who his story's for you all. But Venus represents our romantic inclinations and pleasures. It also governs our relationship with money, 
Past, present, future. It expresses our tastes, including preferences in our art and style, and represents how we choose to live a luxurious, good life. Venus is at its best when surrounded by amorous and tender affections. On a bad day, Venus can become jealous when not given enough attention, often resorting to a passive act to try to gain dominance over a situation. Venus moves through a different sign of zodiac every three to four weeks, except when in retrograde. So you ain't been um, noticing this because they've been dominating this situation. They're jealous. They're jealous when you don't give them any attention. This sister is so fucking jealous. And your divine mask, and they're so jealous. And they're trying to dominate this situation. And they don't want you, they didn't want uh, want you to have light shed on that. They loved fucking around with your sister. They loved fucking your sister. Did you hear that? Well, 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 you motherfuckers. I don't know who this is for, but... Somebody's divine mask on lust partying with your sister, and they know that the bitch is a gold digger, and that they're getting ready to pay big for it, and that they they ain't gonna have no gold because it's coming to you if you've been married for a long time. <laughs> and if that woman was somebody that you worked with and she fucked your old man or somebody you did dope with, well, just take it as it is. They're uh. Keep protecting yourself with priors because these the, the law was taking down this whole group of people that was coming after you and, and, and you getting your business off the ground. And that's why I'm hawks come around because they said they ain't going to hurt you anymore. And you keep praying and you'll always have love. That's what it's saying. Okay? That's what it said. And um, is there any more information? Yeah, they had an ulterior motive, this person did. What was their or ulterior motive against this sister? Why, why did this sister be against the other sister? Uh, they're because they're addicted to work. They're addicted to your work. Did y'all run out of tricks to play? Their this their their ulterior motive is they're addicted to my work, my work practice, and they can't play tricks on me anymore. They can't play tricks on me anymore, and and somebody's getting ready to go south for a vacay. Or I'm just I just think it means they can't play tricks because you vacated and left the motherfucker because this karmic cycle need to be broken. And how now, brown cow? So maybe my brother had died because he used to say how now, brown cow all the time to me. Maybe he's saying you're addicted to your work, Pam. <laughs> it said, did y'all run out of tricks to play? They're reaping what they sow, and uh, that's all. They're they're reaping what they sow, and 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 you you left because you know you went you went on vacay and left these motherfuckers, and 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 you're saying you all can't you can't be me, sister. You can't be me. People that I work with, you can't be me. People that I work with now, you can't be me. Somebody's uh, deceased aunt is helping you figure this out right now. Your deceased aunt out here. They're saying they're a bunch of idiots. Your brother's saying these some bitches a bunch of idiots. That's why I warned you that they're trying to poison you at your work. <laughs> like my brother did. And these karmic men followed you here to this life for thrills. They love, they fought, these karmic men followed you for thrills to keep playing tricks on you. Uh, they're reaping what they sowed because the law's getting them. <laughs> And spirit will let it all come out naturally. <laughs> you can't be me because spirit lets it all come out naturally. <laughs> See? Stop holding grudges, people. Stop it. Demons be possessed. These idiots are possessed. These idiots are possessed. The spirit knows it. And uh, and, and uh, they they they're gonna start leaving fake com uh, fake comments. These fake readers are gonna start leaving fake comments. And spirit, while well, let it come out naturally, your deceased friends helping you. Oh, your deceased friend and your deceased aunt. I love that spirit. I, I love how you tell a story. So all right, guys. Uh, this person that's holding a grudge on you, they're possessed. They're a fucking idiot. They're like, how now, brown cow? Uh, they had ulterior motives. Um, there was karmic men. They followed you here to this life for thrills. And that sister. And spirit. 
And, and they're getting ready to reap what they sow. They're going south for a vacated jail. And did y'all run out tricks to play? Fake comments from fake readers. This karmic cycle needs to be broke. Quit, quit being so addicted to what I do on my channel and then go and play it. You did it. Quit doing that because, see, you can't be me. You can't be me. My deceased friend is helping me. I actually do have a deceased friend. And spirit will let it all come out naturally on my channel. <laughs> That's what it means, you guys. Well, I hope it's helped somebody out here today. Somebody's sister's a total bitch. And your divine mask. And I hate it for you. But I love y'all, and y'all let me know if it makes sense to somebody. Peace.